perfectly. Guys, I've left my natural habitat. I've, I've driven down off the hill. Look where I am. A little bit scared, not gonna lie. It's like a whole new world. Sirens, cars, people, people everywhere, cars everywhere. It's bloody massive. I feel like I'm in America. I'm going in there in a minute. First, I'm going in here. Might just see what they've got by way of divan bases that are off the ground. Hello, it's me from the future. I'm just putting together my vlog and realised that there were a couple of bits of footage that I thought I'd taken, but I can't have done it right. I didn't hit record or something, probably because I was just not in my usual environment. One of them was videoing all the cushions in Home Sense and saying, Oh, all these cushions and there's not not four that I want. There's, there were two that I wanted, but couldn't get four. And uh, they didn't have any bedspreads either, which is what I want to cover those um, weird feeling sofas. And Benson for beds didn't have anything that I was, that anything that I thought would be suitable. So that was a bit of a fail. And by that time, I started getting really hungry. This is more like it. This is my kind of shop. Nah, I like food a lot more than cushions. I'm taking back some of the things that I bought today because when I got them home, they just, away from the dazzle of the shop, they weren't right. But I'm keeping that, baby. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I really do love blue and white china. Got some Prosecco glasses this shape. Let's just turn you around. I got this funny looking frying pan, non-stick. Now non-stick is not a good thing to have and I usually cook on cast iron, but the kids and Toby struggle a bit with that. But this one has got no PFOAs or other harmful substances. So hopefully, for the infrequent times that they'll be eating food off this, it's not going to be harming them. And I got this candle because I like the smell and I like how it looks. And it's a double wicker and I think that'll be nice outside. And then these little coasters in a little caddy which I thought were rather charming. And when they're done and dusted, I can compost them. And then this, I love this so much. Yeah, that's plastic. Yeah, I've gone off it now. Well, I still like it. Just think that's gorgeous. Imagine that outside, the little plant, the posters, perhaps the candle. Are you with me, guys? Are you with me? Who's coming over for sundowners? I got this adorable little barbecue for a tenner, and Toby said it's rubbish. He said the grill's too far away from the coals, and it will fall to bits in no time. So I'm taking that back. And these, they don't look so bad in the, oh, I'm just not sure about that. I, just, I like them, but they're just not quite the right sort of colour, but I wonder if there's anything I could rub on them. They're just too perfect and shiny and it's just not quite right. Oh, and I've got, got a picture frame, whoops, for a really lovely photo that my sister-in-law took of the boys. Must remember to take that in. 
I'm gonna have a grizzle. Unnecessary profligate use of plastic sellotape really riles me. It's so unnecessary. Can you tell? I'm cross. And not only that, it takes flipping forever to A, get into the parcel and B, peel off all this stuff so I can put it in the recycling. I hate it. I'm showing you the real me. Viperous, venomous, angry, angry smurf. I call Toby the angry gnome. He calls me the angry smurf. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. When it is necessary, I'm all for plastic sellotape. But unnecessary and overdone is just, it just winds me up. Look at all of that sellotape. Look at that. That will not rot down for 500 years. A third of that would have been too much. I know somebody who, or I know of somebody who's in, in the media, not in the media, who is sort of famous and he gets sent a lot of stuff. And if it arrives wrapped up in loads of plastic, doesn't even open it, he just goes, return to sender. Don't blame him. Such a pain in the ass having to get into a bloody parcel no matter what is in there when there's this much Saturday. See, I'm not a sweetie, nice, gorgeous, kind-hearted person. I'm a weasel. We've just had our supper. Now I'm gonna pop this, I'm gonna pop the photo in the photo frame. Look, did my ironing on Tuesday, I think. I still haven't packed it away. What a slattern. Just been outside. We had our supper outside. It was very nice. We had leftovers. So a while back, we had a takeaway from the Indian, and it was. Oh, this is annoying. I can't fit that in with. I want to use this to keep that in place. It's the iPad. Oh, it's over there. Hello, camera. I like dinosaurs. Oh, it's slipped. Oh, I'm going to have to get some sellotape, but look, that's going to be lovely. As I was saying, oh, I want some hand cream. We've just had our supper. We had a takeaway a while back and there was loads left over. So I froze it. I do that all the time and we've never died, so I think it's fine but there wasn't really enough, really. So I bulked it out with some sweet potato. Oh, it was so nice, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, you're a stowaway. Look at that little face. Hi, darling. Oh, you're lovely. We're sitting out here. I've just put some fairy lights up. problem with June is it doesn't get dark till too late to enjoy them. Uh, these festering lights, just got them in B&Q. And I've got some of these wires, wire lights. They're all solar panels. And we've chosen these for the path with those edging it. And I think rather than a straight line, I think we might do a little curve. Don't know, we'll lay them out.